Guess the weight. Jake was buying veggies for his lunch recipe. He purchased a bag of carrots when a shady man approached him and told him, Sir, I don't have any money with me, but I really need those carrots. Let's make a deal. If I write your carrots' exact weight on this paper, you'll have to give them to me. If I don't, I'll give you my watch. Jake agreed, thinking there was too small a chance for the stranger to guess the number correctly. The mysterious guy scribbled something on the paper and gave it to Jake. As soon as Jake read it, he handed him the bag of carrots. What did the man write on the paper? Your carrot's exact weight, just like he said he would. <laughs> Will he win the game? Mark was visiting a new game store in his neighborhood. That day, staff members were giving away free games if the customers answered their questions correctly. Mark got in the queue and waited anxiously to see if he'd get the board game he wanted. When his turn arrived, the staff member said, What has six faces but doesn't wear makeup? has 21 eyes but can't see. Mark was relieved when he heard the riddle, and as soon as he answered, he got the game. What was his reply? A dice. The Indivisible Apples Sam went apple picking with his sister, and on the way back, they met their four cousins. There were only five apples in the basket, and Sam had to divide them equally between his sister and their cousins. But one apple had to remain in the basket that he'd take home. How would he divide the apples? He'd give four apples to his four cousins, leaving one apple in the basket for his sister, and walk home with her. The New Retail Store John's friend Susie opened a new retail store, and she came up with a new method to price her stock. A tie costs $15, a belt $20, a beret $25, and a blazer $30. Using this method, how much would a handbag cost? Thirty-five bucks. She's charging five dollars for each letter you need to spell a clothing item. The Apple Tree Simon won the title for being the smartest person in his town. One day, he woke up in an evil scientist's basement – oh, who would have thought – who wanted to prove that Simon was cheating at each test. So he broadcasted the event live on social media to prove his point. He said, all right, Simon, I'll ask you a simple math question. A farmer in California has an apple tree in his backyard and supplies the fruit from the tree to a local grocery store. On Sunday, the store owner called the farmer to see how much fruit he'll deliver on Monday. The farmer knows that the main trunk has 26 branches. Each branch has exactly 15 bows, each bow 8 twigs, and each twig 1 fruit. How many oranges will the farmer deliver? Simon immediately gave the correct reply. Can you? None, said Simon. Apple trees don't bear oranges. Well. When partying goes wrong. Mason, Jacob, Susie, and Edward were having a party at Edward's place. The next day, Edward was found unconscious, and none of the three friends knew what happened to him. When the police showed up, they found a note next to Edward's calendar. It read, 3 4 9 10 11. Immediately, the detective knew who did it. What about you? It was Mason. The note was next to a calendar. Take the first letters, transform them into months, and you get Mason. 3 equals March, 4 equals April, 9 equals September, 10 equals October, 11 equals… hmm, which one is that? Where's Mary? 
Sarah and Jamie were spending the weekend at Mary's house. On Saturday, they went to bed late, and when they woke up the next day, Mary was gone. She left a note on her nightstand that read, Come find me here. Noon dash DL. What does the note point to? A city? A famous mountain? A forest? Or an island? A city. If you unscramble the letters, it reads London. The right door. Mike was driving for seven hours on the freeway when his tire blew up. He called for help, and they said it will cost him $200 to fix it. He was angry because he was thirsty, hungry, and didn't have any money. In front of him, still sitting in the car, three doors appeared, each with signs above showing where they lead. The first is full of food. Burgers, spaghetti, lobsters, and pizza. Mm. The second is topped with beverages, from energy drinks to sodas and iced teas. The third door has a million dollars in cash. Which door should Mike open first? His car door. <laughs> Who took the car? Mr. Ronald returned home from his three-week vacation only to find his car missing. He left three of his employees at work to take care of the house, but none of them were there when he returned. To catch them off guard, Mr. Ronald video called each one. Sean said he was on the bus back home after a long night out. George said he was heading to school for his lecture, but he could pop by to help him find his car. Chris said he had just arrived at his hotel room in Italy and had no idea what happened with the vehicle. Right away, Mr. Ronald knew who was lying. It was Chris. The clock behind him showed the exact same time as the one on his phone. He wasn't in Italy. The correct path. Luke was hiking in the mountains for two days when he got lost. He came across two paths. One leads to a nearby town, and the other one will get him lost forever. There are two twin girls there who know which way leads to the town. Luke can only ask them one question, but there's a catch. One of the girls always lies, and the other always tells the truth. And Luke doesn't know which one will be truthful. 25 minutes later, Luke arrived at the nearby town. What did he ask the girls? If I ask your sister for the correct path, which one would she show me? They'll both point in the same direction, which means Luke took the path they didn't point at. Where's he hiding? Jim escaped from prison on Saturday. The police had been patrolling the town he was last seen in until they got a tip. A neighbor saw him entering one of these three houses, but he couldn't remember which one. The police took a closer look at the houses and arrested him. How did they find out the correct house? It's the last one on the right. The car is facing the road a common technique people on the run use to get away without losing time. Where does she live? Mia left her mother's home because they had a big argument. Her mother wanted to know where her daughter was going. But when she got back home from work on Tuesday, Mia was still missing. Mia didn't have a phone, and her mom didn't know where she went. Two hours later, she found out where she was staying. How? She dialed the last number on the phone and told the person on the other side that they'd won the lottery. She told them they needed their name and address to give them the prize. Which is the correct door? Shane is an archaeologist who snuck into some underground caves in Egypt. When the guards spotted him, they started chasing him. He ran fast and came across, ooh, guess what, three doors! Behind the first one were four aggressive crocodiles. Behind the second was an explosive device that would go off in 5 minutes. 
and behind the third was a dirty pond filled with bacteria and parasites. Which door should he pick? The second door. But because the guards were coming quickly, he should move the device to the room with the crocodiles and then run away to avoid being caught. The Lost Suitcase Jenna and Neil got back from their holidays in Hawaii. Upon returning, they discovered that their suitcase never made it into the baggage claim area. It was either lost or taken by somebody. The briefcase had a lock on it. When airport security showed up, they questioned three people with some convincing alibis. The steward said he checked the plane and couldn't find any luggage. The captain said the suitcase was probably forgotten in Hawaii, but nobody would open it because it was locked. The airport security guard said he just called the airport in Hawaii, and nobody knew what happened. Immediately, the police arrested the captain. Why? He knew the suitcase was locked, but nobody told him that. The break-in Susan's apartment was broken into the day before Halloween. When she went home from work and saw the mess, she called the police. The door didn't have any signs of a break-in, just an open window. The detectives questioned three of her neighbors. Mrs. Ruth was knitting a pair of gloves for her great-granddaughter. Michael said he was working a 14-hour shift the day before, and he was sleeping all day. Dennis said he had broken his leg and didn't leave his home for three weeks. The police immediately knew who was guilty. It was Michael. He was the only one able to climb into a window. Wait a minute, you don't think Granny could do that? You should see her doing burpees. Hmm.